Halloween just a week away, everybody. And amid all the costumes and the candy, you still have to worry about the kiddos, right? Yeah, I mean, that can be the scariest part, really, of Halloween. So we're getting some tips on staying safe from Dr. Catalina Bombar. She is a pediatrician at Mount Sinai and an assistant professor at the Icon School of Medicine. So good morning, Dr. Bombar. Thanks for being with us. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Thanks good morning. for having me. So, listen, we hear all about the dangers of Halloween, but do you get an increase, though, in child hospital visits from Halloween-related activities? Um, I wouldn't say so. Probably I won't have a number to give you, but I think it's more um, common sense um, and the things you have to do to keep your children safe. Um, but it's, a, it's good to remind the common sense sometimes. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, we're talking about some injuries that you may possibly see, right? You know, what are some of the things typically that you might see from Halloween? A lot of um, belly pains and vomiting by the end uh, of the day. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, wonder why. Because <laughs> the, the main issue is um, candy. Um, and, of course, uh, kids want to eat a lot, um, so you have to be very cautious. I think initially the first thing you have to, um, you know, think about is costumes. Make sure you use non-toxic makeup, the costume fits well so they don't trip and fall because then, of course, you will have an injury related to that. Um, there are some things related to street safety. Uh, of course, drivers have to be as cautious as they should be or more, uh, but also uh, make sure that the child is well seen by glow sticks or flashlights, reflective tape on the costumes that will help them be seen in the street. Um, and another thing that sometimes is important to take into account when you have little ones or children with special needs, if they get lost, yeah. um, you should put like a, well, at least I recommend my patients to put like a label with a telephone number. And if you cannot do that, even write it on their arms. Yeah. Uh, because if you, you know, sometimes you go in groups and kids get super excited. They go to one house to another and then suddenly one can get lost. So I think that's really important. Uh, but going back to the candy, uh, I think that's the main issue for the kids. They want to eat everything and it's impossible. <laughs> and they get a lot. And I think it's important as parents to uh, set some expectations before you go trick or treating allowed to do here and there one candy on the way but then try to go back make sure you sort everything out of course. Um, there could be a lot of things that are unsafe open discolored um, that you really want to throw away um, and you can be very honest with the kids say look these are things that we it's not safe to eat yeah. or homemade goods we usually say not Zero. to because you, no, you like you never know what it is now, you had mentioned some things there when we had a, a graphic up, you know, things like not using uh, toxic kinds of makeup, make sure that you check on what, what's being used, uh, enlarge the mask eye holes, use reflective tape, etc. But are there certain types of costumes that you think parents should stay away from? Um, overall, I think the general rule is make sure it fits well. So the child can be whatever they want. Yeah. Um, but you have to make sure it fits well. There's nothing trailing. There are not things that would have, let's say, a cape um, that can choke the child. It gets tangled. So mm. all things that you see, that that's why we say it has to fit well. It has to be comfortable. Um, and you have to make sure the accessory. Don't, I usually say when they're little, don't accessorize too much. Yeah. yeah. What's your and as a parent, because you end up carrying the, you know, the spade, the anyway. sword. The <laughs> yeah, exactly. well, of course, yeah, yeah. What's your <laughs> advice, you know, when you go to the Halloween store and you see some of those kids, that they're putting on the masks, right, and then they're taking them off and they're putting them back on the shelf and then putting another kid puts them on. So, you know, what's uh, your, <laughs> yeah, so, it, you know, and it's kind of gross, right? And you don't think about it until you're an adult, like, oh, what's living in that mask? <laughs> so do you wash it down? What's the idea here? If you end up, I, I would say for, for young kids, Overall, I would say stay away from masks yes. um, because they end up being very uncomfortable for yeah. the child and there's a risk of them not seeing well. So, But if you really want to do the mask, and that's why we say enlarge the hole so they can see well, I would definitely at least clean it with some sanitizing wipes just to make mm -hmm. sure. Okay, let's go and review. You have some suggestions about how to deal with candy, right? So let's. we have a full screen up, a, a graphic about things that we should do. You said throw away any unusual items. Yes. Right? Um, so throw away op an, uh, open, discolored, home um, baked items, things that you see that someone did. Uh, you know, sometimes it's like we don't want to offend anybody, but I think it's not safe. Um, and then any choking hazard, so um, nuts, big pieces, hard candy, round, um, those gums that are like 
big boys, those can yeah. be very dangerous. So anything related to choking hazard has to go away. Okay. And so if you had to give, if you had walking down the street, you saw a parent and you were asking you for one bit of advice, what's the most important thing that you would say going into Halloween? Mm, have fun. Yes, Aww, thank you. Oh, yay. Right? I, I think it's an important day to build beautiful memories with your family. The kids get excited when the parents participate, even dress up. I'm not saying all adults should do it, but we do it with my family and we enjoy. I'm dressing uh, up. But, but just <laughs> use common sense. I think that's <laughs> the number one advice. It's a whole family themed costume this year. Yeah. We, yeah. we, we, we have done it. And yeah, the kids have, they really remember. Yeah. It's the best. It's such a fun. It's like a kickoff to the holiday season, really. Another important thing that sorry I didn't mention. I think it's important is allergies. So when you yes. have children oh, yeah. with allergies, that's really um, more difficult for them. Um, so I, we usually say to parents with kids with allergies, get some allergy-free treats. So when you <laughs> sort out and you have to throw almost half of the candy mm. basket for yeah. them, and they get very disappointed, you can fill it up with things that are safe. Mm -hmm. um, carry an EpiPen because you never know if they sneak yeah. something That's and they can have a reaction. And if you want to support the aller allergies, um, uh, you know, kids with allergies, and there's a campaign where you can put a teal pumpkin yes. on the door yes. of your house. So you yes. can signal that the house has either allergy free treats or even non edible, Good like idea. goodies. Yeah, in um, fact, one I of our one of our coworkers has a teal pumpkin in our newsroom. Oh, with thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, that's allergy a good point. Free treats inside. Dr. I Carolina. think it's kind of a community taking care of the rest yes. of everybody. Right? We don't yeah. want to leave anybody out. Well, Dr. Catalina Colombar, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate all the fun tips that you gave us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good day.